Good morning. I am Alex Suarez Chongson, staff nurse from Kaba District Hospital. Today, I will be presenting to you my research study entitled Emergency Triage System. Emergency department are the first recipient of emergency cases among healthcare facilities, but severity of these cases widely varies from severe life-threatening cases to mild ones. Triage is putting the patient in the right place at the right time to receive the right level of care, the allocation of appropriate resources to meet the patient's medical needs. In the United States healthcare system, ER visits accounts for 11% of outpatient encounters, 28% of acute rate care visits, and with the hospital admission, it accounts for 50%. According to the American Health Association annual survey, the visit of emergency department in the USA exceeds 130 million in 2011. That is a survey in 2014. In the Philippines, statistical reports at the South Cotabato Provincial Hospital showed that the emergency room catered around 20,000 patients with an average of 110 per day that is according to the Philippine News Agency in 2018. However, through observations and assessment, healthcare workers, especially nurses, were not aware and knowledgeable enough in prioritizing and sorting the urgency of patients' need. Furthermore, there is no emergency tourist system in place in the district hospitals of La Union. With regards to the methods, the research design for this study is the descriptive evaluative. In this study, the awareness and knowledge of healthcare workers towards emergency, non-emergency, and medical legal cases in five district hospitals of La Union were described and evaluated. Furthermore, it is also a developmental research. The study was developmental because an output formulated an output was formulated and, will, and was proposed based on the assessment of the variables of the study. With regards to the participants of the study, the respondents were nurses, midwives, and nursing attendants of the five district hospitals of La Union. Total enumeration of 120 respondents were included in the study based on the established criteria by the researchers. The inclusion criteria for this task were, one, nurses who were working or nurses who were having their duty in the ER. Number two is of any job orders, whether they are head nurses, senior nurse, permanent nurse, casual and job. With regards to the data gathering tool and procedures, the questionnaires were used. The questionnaires that were used was a researcher's made question lifted from the Emergency Severity Index, or what we call the ESI, and was subjected to validity and reliability tests. With regard to the validity result, the researcher got a very high valid result, which is equivalent to 4.68%, which is equivalent to 4.68. With reliability level from the Cronbach's Alpha, it is also very high with a result of 0.8%. 993. The data gathering was done from September 23, 2019 to October 17, 2019. Let's move on to the data management. The profile of the respondents were treated using the frequency counts and percentage. With regards to the level of awareness and knowledge, the researcher elicited the use of weighted means. With regards to the relationship of variables on profile, to the level of awareness and knowledge, and the level of awareness to the level of knowledge were computed with the person or product moment correlation coefficient, and it was been tested at 0 0.05 level of significance. Let's move on to the results and discussion. Number one, we have the profile of the healthcare workers. As I had mentioned a while ago, we had 128 respondents. With regards to the age of the respondents, the highest respondents 
are from the ages 26 to 30. The researchers, the researcher got a, four, a 42 staff or that is equivalent to 32.8 percent. Next, from the age of 31 to 35 or 39 of the out of 120 respondents, it was then the second highest uh, result. And the lowest result was from the age of 36 to 40, wherein only six respondents from the 128 respondents were included. Next one is the sex. We have the female, we have 98 respondents out of 128, or which is equivalent to 76.6%, and male got only 30 respondents, or 23.4%. With regards to the training or seminar attended, most of the healthcare workers had attended two trainings or 52 out of 128 respondents had attended two trainings. Furthermore, one training had attended or 29 out of 128 had attended uh, one training only. From the 128 respondents, Nine of them had attended five trainings and only one out of 128 had attended six trainings. With regards to the years in service, 35 out of 128, they were on service for three to four years. 32 out of 128 respondents were in the service for 10 years and above and the lowest um, lowest, uh, risk, uh, sorry, with regards to the lowest um, percentage, I got only 15 out of 128 percent, wherein they were working in the hospital for one to two years. With regards to the highest educational attainment, 119 out of 128 were college graduate. Eight of them earned a master's degree and only one have earned doctorate degree. Let's move on to this next one, which is the level of awareness. The emergency cases had a weighted mean of 3.63, which is a high level of awareness. The non-emergency cases, the weighted mean was 4.38, that is equivalent to, uh, sorry, um, the descriptive interpretation of that is a very highly aware. And the medical legal cases, which is uh, 4.40, um, the uh, descriptive interpretation of that is very highly aware. So overall, all in all mean for the level of awareness, it is, sorry, it was 4.13 wherein the respondents were very highly aware. Sorry, were highly aware. Next, we have the level of knowledge. With the emergency cases, the respondents were highly knowledgeable because they, the weighted mean was 3.52 with regards to non-emergency. The respondents were very highly knowledgeable because the weighted mean was 4.33. And with regards to the medical legal cases, the respondents were highly knowledgeable because the weighted mean was 3.98. But overall mean, the respondents were highly knowledgeable because the weighted mean was 3.93. Let's move on to the relationship between the profile and the level of awareness and knowledge. As you can see in the table, there is a negligible correlation between age, sex, years in service, and the highest educational attainment, and the level of awareness and knowledge of the healthcare workers. With regards to the extent of relationship, the extent of relationship is not significant as shown by the computed p-values, which is higher than 0 0.05 level of awareness. With regards to the relationship between the level of awareness and knowledge, there is a very high correlation between the level of awareness and level of knowledge of healthcare workers towards emergency, non-emergency, and medical legal cases, as indicated by the R value, which is 0 0.93, 0 0.95, and 0 0.92, respectively. Furthermore, the extent of relationship is significant between the set variables. On the other hand, Relevant trainings and seminars attended displays low positive correlation between the variable and the level of awareness and knowledge of the healthcare workers. 
the extent the relationship is significant between the variables as illustrated by the completed p values, as you can see on the screen. Next, let's move on to the relationship between the level of awareness and knowledge. As you can see on the screen, there is a very high correlation between the level of awareness and level of knowledge of healthcare workers towards the emergency, non-emergency, and medical legal cases as indicated by the R value, which is 0 0.93, 0 0.95, and 0 0.92 respectively. Furthermore, the extent of relationship is significant between the set of variables. This was the proposed emergency service system for the district hospitals in Lomignon, wherein the purpose was indicated. The rationale for the development of the uh, scale was also indicated the benefits of the triage. The focal person are responsible people who are going to um, mandate for the staff that do and the scope of uh, scope for this proposed emergency triage system, the role of the triage nurse, the procedures on how to do the triaging, the necessary trainings uh, indicated for nurses to help um, triaging patient. And this is the triage level. We have five triage levels. First is the level one. I highlighted it with color blue because it is an immediate or that is the resuscitation. An example of resuscitation or the level one triage is the code arrest or the code blue, major trauma, near-death asthma. Level two is um, in a color red, which is the 15 minutes or the emergent. An example of it is the head injury or severe trauma. Level three is yellow, 30 minutes. An example of that is moderate trauma, dialysis problem. The fourth one is highlighted in a green color, which is the 60 minute or an hour, which is the less urgent example is the earache, abdominal pain, and upper respiratory infection. And the last one was colored into white, which is the non-urgent or the 120 minutes. An example of it is sore throat and or refilling of medication. Next one is the emergency triage algorithm. As what I have discussed a while ago, the level one is uh, color blue, level two is yellow, uh, sorry, red, level three is yellow, level four is green, and the level five is white. A validation of the proposed emergency triage system was done. A total of 10 validators who validated the proposed emergency triage system, four of them were experts in emergency nursing and nursing administration, and six of them were the end users. The proposed emergency triage system obtained a rating of 4.96 weighted mean, which means it was a very highly valid. In conclusion, based on the research findings, the researcher concluded that the healthcare workers in the Union Risk Hospitals are highly conscious of the emergency triage system protocol. In light of this, it is strongly recommended that the district hospitals in La Union shall adopt the proposed emergency triage system to sustain the status of awareness and knowledge of the healthcare workers leading to their most desired proficiency in handling emergency cases to prioritize the patients. Further studies along these areas are likely or likewise recommended considering other areas, sorry, considering other areas not covered in the foregoing study. Thank you.